One of the greatest players in the history of the game of basketball played here at Michigan State. Urban Magic Johnson's presence. Always here, his spirit outside the Breslin Center and inside we've got one of the great rivalries in all of sports as the Michigan Wolverines come to East Lansing to take on the fourth ranked Spartans of Michigan State and a look at the standings in the Big Ten. Purdue top of the table ranked fifth in the nation undefeated with the Ohio State Buckeyes. Chris Holtman has them rolling followed by the Spartans and the Wolverines. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson along with the All-American out of Ohio State, Chip Jackson. And welcome to the Breslin Center here in East Lansing, Michigan, Michigan State. Whether they're playing basketball, football, or <laughs> ping pong, throw the records out the window. This is going to be a war. It doesn't matter because throw the records out. Both teams still searching offensively for who they are. Michigan, tough loss at home against Purdue. See if they can bounce by Mich Michigan State. Time is a once you seem to execute better offensively in their half court set. Time now to join the third member of our team on the sideline, our Lisa Byington. Well, Gus, John Beeline is making a switch at the four spot starting Isaiah Livers in the place of Duncan Robinson. It'll be the first career start for the freshman and Beeline said he felt like it was time for Livers. A little bit of a scoring punch to start. It could relax Robinson. He said when I told Isaiah he was all in but obviously he won't know that for sure until the jump. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Wolverines and the Spartans. Well, how about Xavier Simpson, third star, coming off 15 points versus Purdue. And for Michigan State, Joshua Langford put a little pressure on the guards for Michigan. Push it up quickly. Great trio of officials working this game today. Ted Valentine, Terry Weimer, and Rob Riley. This is a series that dates back to 1909, folks. Michigan leads the series 98-81. Michigan State has won five of the last six, but the Wolverines won the most recent meeting, 86-57, in Ann Arbor last year. Spartans, Wolverines. And here we go from East Lansing. Spartans controlling the tip. And this is a key matchup right here with Cassius Winston and also Xavier Simpson. Bridges driving on the baseline, wrapped it around. Spartans turned it over early. Here comes Simpson in the front court, straight to the bucket off the glass. No loose ball. Simpson with his own rebound. The teardrop rattles out as Bridges will haul it down. They're talking to Coach Izzo. That's one thing he wanted to avoid was early turnovers, live ball turnovers, knowing that Michigan loves to get out in transition. Unfortunately, they just couldn't finish on that play. Here's Cassius Winston running the pick and roll all the way to the basket off the window softly and then. How about the progression of this young man, the confidence that he has, the confidence that his coaching staff and teammates have shown in him, and he's responded. Winston coming off a 12.7 assist game against Rutgers on Wednesday and a Spartan win. Abdur. And that one off the front rim for Abdur Rahman. Michigan. Lost to Purdue 70-69 Tuesday in Ann Arbor and a turnover. Simpson penetrating to the bucket oh, and he comes up short. Abdur Rahman inside, no. Wagner, yes, and one. Well, here's the thing. This Michigan State team valued the basketball most of the season, but they are prone to turnovers. And Mo Wagner able to get his, Wagner able to get his hand involved and get out in transition once again for the Wolverines. Wagner at the line, coming off an 11-point game against Purdue on Tuesday. Back-to-back -back double figures. After his only two single-digit games of the season. Entered the season with one career double-double. But I like the Gus early on, the activity of this Michigan Wolverine team. Defensively, they're active, they're communicating. Winston again, looking inside for Nick Ward. Nick Ward is a load. Jackson driving underneath, kicks it. Ward, nice catch. Bumping, grinding. Turn around, lefty. Hook, short. Oh, but Bridges is there for the tip jam. Miles Bridges, a Flint Stone. Simpson. Abdul Rahman. 
by Langford. Gets inside the kick. Simpson, deep J. And hits. How about the patience? That time, Michigan couldn't get the initial thrust, but they stayed with it, used the pick and roll. Xavier Simpson, excellent spacing, able to catch in rhythm and knock down that jump shot. One thing you know about John Beeline's teams over the years, wherever he's gone, they can shoot the rock. Well, because they maintain perfect spacing, but we also underestimate how they pass the basketball, Gus, to get those high percentage shots. Winston shaking, and an offensive foul on Cassius Winston. Well, let's go back here. One-on-one -on -one coverage by Mo Wagner on Nick Ward, but no one. How do you miss one of the best players in the country by not putting the body on Miles Bridges, able to get an easy two inside? I have to do a better job of communicating to the Wolverines. Simpson runs a pick-and-roll with Wagner, pops out 20-footer. Counter. Yeah, that time Nick Ward got lost in the pick-and-roll, lost his footing, and... Again, you talked about spacing. Wagner set that pick, relieved himself, and gave him plenty enough room to gather, catch square up, and knock in that three. Wagner, 6'11", junior. Can do a lot of things. Now Ward, great matchup here. He's going to use that big, strong Gahanna Lincoln body. He's from Gahanna, Ohio. He from? And that, that's where? Okay, let's go back to this pick and roll. Watch Wagner when he comes out and sets the pick. We're going to freeze it right here. Now, once he gets a body on him, he's able to relieve himself, and Simpson takes the dribble. Now, to create the space, bam, no one's able to real rotate. The middle pick and roll is so tough to guard when you have a big that can shoot. Plus, Xavier Simpson is a threat off the dribble. John Teske is checked in for the Wolverines. He's seven feet. Jackson looking to feed the post. Bridges, he's got a quick first step, drives, hands it off, and a two-hand flush by the freshman, Jackson, and the foul. Miles Bridges. Coach Hizzo talked to him about being more selfish, more importantly, more aggressive. Not aggressive always to score, but to attack off the dribble. And now because he draws so much attention, he's able to make the play to Jaron Jackson. And he just does the rest, just elevates over the top, shows the strength, finishes. But old-fashioned, almost three-point play. And a foul on the rebound. Looks like this may go against Nick Ward. John Beeline. He's led Michigan to seven NCAA tournament bids, including the national runner-up during the 2012-13 season. Sweet 16 last year, remember that national champion runner-up. They had some players on that team. Mm. Tim Hardaway Jr. Now starring with the New York Knicks. Mm -hmm. Trey Burke. Trey Burke, Where who's from? also with the New York Knicks. Where are you from? Nick Stauskas, who's with the Philadelphia 76ers. Why you avoid my question? What? I say, where's Trey Burke from? Oh, he's from Ohio. Okay, why well, you avoid that? You guys get one every level. <laughs> <laughs> Matthews on the baseline. Abdul Rahman trying to penetrate, cut off, eight to shoot. Matthews shows it and travels. Tom Izzo, the 2006 Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. He won the national championship in 2000. A team cleave who could ever forget. And he has a team that he thinks can make a return trip to the final four. We talked to Coach Beeline. He said he likes his team. They're learning. They're growing. They're young. And with youth, especially when you got Isaiah Livers in there, Jordan Poole, defensively, they got to catch up. They're good at one-on-one -on -one defense, but it's the other things being able to help them recover back line defense that they're still trying to understand. He said they're a step, a step slow. Well, a step slow because in high school, especially for Livers, he was playing inside the 4-5. So he didn't have to come out to the perimeter and really guard multiple positions. But in this system, he has to be able to do that. All right, let's take a look at the Geico players to watch. Jimmy, what do you think here? Well, you see Charles Matthews had to knock down shots. I mean, because he's shooting 55%, but he can step out and shoot. Miles Bridges, be more aggressive. I wish my coach told me, look, I need you to be more aggressive and shoot more. But you saw on multiple occasions early in this game to see a foul here. His penetration breaks down the defense you have to help, and he has the ability to make a play. Well, Jizzle saying 
Bridges has to be more unselfish and sometimes being too unselfish kind of hurts your team. As you mentioned, he needs to take more shots. Well, it, There's the unselfishness, shoot it more. Well, <laughs> and I love it because, see right here, now he can do that all day. And what that does, it forces the defense now to have to shrink in a little bit more, Gus. Now you have to take away dribble penetration. Again, he's shown the ability to be able to pass off the dribble and make a play. But he keeps that aggression up. It's going to be tough to stop this Michigan State team. Here's Poole, just checked in. Simpson back in the game, runs a pick and roll with Teske, trying to shake up Winston. Abdul Rahman on the hop, the left hand teardrop, no. Batted around, picked up, and a foul coming up against the Wolverine. These are two schools who don't just dislike each other. There's some serious hate going on between the Spartans and the Wolverines. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Progressive. Your first round pick for car insurance. Gus Johnson, Jim Jackson, Lisa Byington with you. From the Breslin Center here in East Lansing, Michigan. One point game so far. Wolverines with the lead on the road. These two schools, they're separated by only 63 miles. There's a big house right there. And you travel 63 miles and you hit the Breslin Center. One of the great atmospheres in all of college basketball. This place, when it gets going, it's like Wild Kingdom. You know what, guys? I've never seen the coordination between the athletic departments, football, basketball, the other sports, and how they all interact and support like I have with this Michigan State University. It's amazing, the support system. Backdoor cut and a foul coming up away from the basketball. Kenny Goins has checked in. Also, Matt McQuaid. Keep your eye on McQuaid, folks. He can stroke the basketball yeah, if he gets a sliver of a look. That's right, and Coach Izzo talked about his impact on the game, him stretching the court, being more aggressive. He struggled with a shot lately. See if he can knock one down early. Bridges lost it on the way to the basket, picked up Goins. Shot clock doesn't reset, it's at 10. Winston lobs it, Goins. Actually, make that Gavin Schilling foul from behind. Gus, on that play for guards, that time Cassius Winston was patient. He took one dribble probe, second dribble probe, and what that allowed to happen was Gavin Schilling now was able to create enough space for that lob to be there. And that's growth and maturity from Winston. Gavin Schilling at the line with the Finley Prep in Nevada, but he's from Chicago, heavily recruited by Villanova. Scoreless against Rutgers on Wednesday. Second free throw goes, so he's on the board. But what a luxury to have a veteran player, physical rebounds, athletic, to come off your bench. Spell Nick Ward, Jackson, a guy you can lean on defensively. Cool. Leans in, draws a foul. Mm. Good play by Jordan Poole. The freshman from Milwaukee. All-American right here from Milwaukee. But listen to this. Smartly understanding that Mount Bridges loves to, you know, contest shots and block shots. For a young player, use that pump fake to his advantage to get to the free throw line. At eight points against Purdue on Tuesday. Now subs coming in. Tum Tum. Along with Joshua Langford, Bridges heads to the bench. Jordan Poole. Cassius Winston on the bench as well for the Spartans. So Tum Tum will run the point. Lou Rawls Nair. How about it? Maybe one of the greatest names I've ever heard in sports. Tum Tum to add to it. That's right. He had a lot going on, but he backs it up. I mean, again, the ability to bring off the bench senior leadership. A different kind of point guard than Winston and Langford, but tough-minded, pushes the pace. Eli Brooks in for Michigan, guarding Tum Tum there. Langford, nice look inside, jump hook, and that one in and out for Ward. Brooks will push it hard the other way. Livers. 
of young guys from Michigan. Learning as they go. Backdoor cut. Mm. Livers with the left hand. And it goes down. Now how about he got it from Jordan Poole, his roommate. Those two work together. They lean on each other. They know each other very well. That time, a little communication with the eyes. The backdoor pass. And cut was open. And they've got the same bar. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> Goins unable to jam it down. 13-10 Michigan. Wolverines have handled the early storm by Michigan State. Abdul Rahman trying to create pool deep. Off the heel, long ball. Picked up, new shot clock. Michigan. Brooks. Livers. Sets. Loose rims here at the Breslin Center. Mm -hmm. Two good shots, though, that time by Michigan. Not able to convert. But that's the kind of offensive set that you want. Ward posting. Quick turn. Gets to the hole. And one. Nick Ward from Gahanna, Ohio. The G-Man putting in work early. Well, how about the quick move? It was felt. The defender, baseline, he had a little chicken wing right there, okay? Able to get away with it. But one thing about this Michigan offense, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head. This time, over the top of the screen, instead of up underneath, Goins gets caught. And how about the zip pass right inside? And how about the finish with the left hand by Livers? So Ward at the line. He's shooting 71% from the field. That's number one in the Big Ten and third in the nation. I like this kid. Physical. He's, he's rugged. But he, he carves out so much space in the post. I think one thing happened when they played Ohio State. The double team came. They shrunk it in. He didn't have a lot of room to work. The minute he recognizes that he can go one-on-one, -on -one, he makes quick moves, uses that big body to get inside to create some havoc. He's the kind of guy that if you're playing with him at the playground, you stay on the court all day. All day long. Brooks. Wagner looking for it now. Wagner is a terrific talent as well. Pool off the bounce. Rims off. Ward trying to claim it and does. Come to Speed dribble. Langford catch and shoot. Loose. Wolverines come out with it. Jordan Pool. Euro. No call. Looked like he traveled. Brooks. Wagner. New shot clock. Oh, Wagner bumping and grinding, turn around, Jay, block by Jaron Jackson, Jr. The long arm of the law. Well, the fifth offensive rebound for the Wolverines, but how about the help side defense? Jaron Jackson coming over, showing and using his athleticism to take away that turnaround jump shot by Wagner. Michigan State leads the nation in block shots. They're averaging eight per game. Jaron Jackson third in the Big Ten and 10th nationally at three blocks per game. Abdul Rahman again swiped away by Jackson. What a talent. What instinct. Now he wants it on the box. Faces. Drives hard across. The oh my goodness. What? Young fella. I think he knows he's on national TV today, Jimmy you, Jackson. You think so? Top of the arc, Wagner. Again. Take that and be quiet. Oh, you see him? To the, quiet the crowd a little bit. Okay, you got the dunk. You take your two, I'm going to take my three. Michigan still leading by a deuce. 16-14. McQuaid. Here's Moore. Draws a double. They say he is not a good passer. But he can shoot. Well, how about this? Nick Ward recognized the double team was coming from the weak side. Four man took a power dribble out. And as soon as Poole went back, he attacked again. I mean, it was Livers. He attacked right to the middle of the defense. And the lane was able to get that jump hook off. Matthews a three. Brick. Ward grabs it. Tum tum on the move. Cross town traffic gets to the hole. Tied up by Brooks. And the possession arrow favors Michigan. Great pace to start this game. Well, it is, but Jaron Jackson Jr. Filling in weak side. Get that shot out of here. And then on the opposite end of the court, you give me the lane, I make you pay. 
take a look at the AP Top 10. Villanova, the top team in the nation. I tell you what, Jalen Brunson has been killing. He's gotten leaner, faster, and his jump shot is spot on. But he understands how to play, guys. I mean, the experience he's gotten over the last two years has propelled him as one of the better point guards in the country. Not surprised at all. Wagner with 13 to shoot. Turns, gets to the rim. Big fella! Take that! Michigan State. He is not playing around today. 11 points for Mo Wagner. You know what I love, Gus? The response when Michigan State goes on a little run, Michigan responds right away. That's a mark of a team that's continued to grow and understand how to play on the road. Duncan Robinson in the game now, guarding Jackson. We've had some exciting plays already in this one. Well, how about the spin move and the recognition that the middle was open, but Mo Wagner has the foot quickness over Nick Ward, and that time Joshua Langford was too far out above the three-point line, couldn't get back in to take away that dribble. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Response, Gus, is a direct response from John Beeline in the huddle. He looked at his team and he said, let's not overreact to the dunks that Michigan State has had. Let's let the crowd enjoy that. But remember, it's only two points. And he looked everyone in the eye and he said, if you're a competitor, you will respond to that. And Wagner did on that first possession, Gus. Seven lead changes in this game so far as Jackson makes the first. And when I did the Maryland Michigan State game, I had a chance to go to the shoot around the day before the game. I walked into the gym and I had been hearing about this kid, Jaron Jackson. When you see him up close, he passes the eye test. I mean, a legit 6'11", majestic looking freshman basketball player. And I, I know his father's that played against him in the NBA. I'm like, where did he get that height from? Where, where wow. did they come from? But he has the shoulders and his body is still filling out. Long yes. jump shot. Mm. Abdur Rahman mm. rattles one home. 21-18, Rachman, first bucket of the game, he has three. Cassius Winston back in, running the point. Here's Bridges. Winston, hesitation. Baseline, Jackson, hooking. Blocked from behind by Wagner. Wolverines force the turnover. Yeah, both teams doing an excellent job of providing backside support from their post players coming over, getting multiple block shots in space. Duncan Robinson. Matthews looking for it. Abdul Rahman running the pick and roll. Almost lost it. Got it back. Can't scoop it. Loose ball picked up by Bridges. Jackson. And a foul. Offensive foul on the freshman. Jackson is second. And Jaron Jackson just pick up, picked up that offensive foul, but you talked about the potential here, the athleticism, the knowledge of how to play. He's long, he can shoot it. You see the defensive crowd from the block shots, had eight earlier this year versus, in 2017 versus Rutgers. So when you have someone on the back line like that, that has the ability to help defensively, you can get up into your guy a little bit more knowing you got backside support. And he got a lecture from his coach because he picked up his second foul at the nine minute mark. He'll have to sit most likely for the rest of the half. And that's been his Achilles heel all year. Staying out of foul trouble early. Well, that one does. He jumped in the air and attempted to make a pass. You got to stay on your feet. Matthews to the cup. Matthews. Tell you what, this Michigan team not afraid to compete on this court against Michigan State. Wolverines almost beat Purdue. Lost by one, 70 to 69 at home. Bridges, double pump. Miles Bridges with six. Well, it was a quick decision that time by Bridges. Rip swing through, recognized the baseline was open and then used the rim as a deterrent, able to get to the opposite side for a nice, easy layup. Xavier Simpson back in. Abdul Rahman jump shot short. Spartans on the move. Winston. Langford, 16. Off the heel. Simpson. The other way. Wagner. He'll shoot it from there. Drives. Gets to the hole, left hand. Cassius Winston leaves it. Bridges 
Inside, Tillman up and one. Xavier Tillman is an impressive looking freshman as well for Michigan State. Ironically, his mother was the all time leading rebounder at Michigan. But well, here it is, inside. You reward the big man freshman Tillman for the great defense on the other end of the court. It's a green and white versus the maize and blue, toe to toe at the Breslin Center. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 50% or more on car insurance. The Breslin Center, East Lansing, Michigan. Our score, Wolverines on top of the Spartans by one on the road. Let's take a look at the Big Ten teams in the RPI Top 50. Well, how about Purdue Boilermakers? I mean, tough team to beat, experienced four seniors, one junior in the starting line lineup. What about the Ohio State Buckeyes? The turnaround, Chris Holtman finally getting that team to understand who they are. Great wins at home and finishing out Michigan and Maryland, of course. So Xavier Tillman at the line, scoreless against Rutgers on Wednesday, did not take a shot in four minutes. Doesn't play a lot, but makes most of it. He scores a point every two and a half minutes. Yeah, and he's a, got three right now. Yeah, there's not a lot of production from a point perspective from the bench against Rutgers. Let's we'll see if that can change this afternoon. We're level at 23. Abdul Rahman, Robinson, Livers, Simpson, Matthews on the court for the Wolverines. Matthews, hesitation gets to the hole. Blocked from behind by Tillman. Fifth block today for the Spartans. Dom Bridges can't keep it from going out of bounds. And that's the sixth turnover for Michigan State. It is, but how about the defense on the other end of the court? The help side, being able to get and move your feet. Tillman that time being able to play a smaller guy off the dribble using his side to negate. It could have been an easy layup. Simpson, baseline Robinson, catch and shoot, count it. Duncan Robinson. He's been struggling a little bit scoring the basketball, but that's a good sign for him. Well, how about this? Start to Coach Beeline. Bringing him in off the bench allows him now to see and feel the game from a different perspective. And I think it takes some of the pressure off of him as a starter. Winston D. Mm. The pride of the University of Detroit Jesuit High School. Who else went there? Winston. I don't know. Some guy. Some guy that's sitting next to me, I think, went there. Five points for Cassius. 26 up. Xavier Simpson. Livers exploding to the basket. And turns it over. Because we talked about Duncan Robinson and his struggles, but you still got to give him the credit that he deserves that he's a knockdown shooter. That time going to help too much, gave it up, but then on the backside off a little pick and roll, passes Winston able to get to the corner. A good contest, a better offense. 5.54 to play, first half, 26-26. Bridges on the wing. They feed the post. Curling. Winston lost it. And out of bounds. Tom Izzo can't believe it. He wanted a call. He thought Winston was fouled. Well, that's the second time. Gazzis Winston thought the last time on the fast break his elbow got hit. And that one, he wasn't able to get his full arm up after contact. But you got to play through it if the official doesn't call it. Abdul Rahman. Gets to the bucket. The teardrop goes down. Michigan back on top. Hand off Langford. Bridges pick and roll. And a foul. Offensive foul coming up. Ted Valentine stated right there. Says no. Moving screen. And that'll go against Gavin Schilling. He picks up his first. Does it, you mentioned this, that we know how good offensively this Michigan team is, but it's their defense that has stepped up, even with their freshmen helping out. So 
It's a reason why right now you got Michigan on the road up two points. The defense has been pretty good early in this first you know, in this first half. Wagner drives and fouled on the floor. But he slipped to the basket really smoothly there. Well, he read the defense. He read that Miles Bridges was up a little bit more, and he knew he had a gap, and he exploited that with his left hand and power right to the basket past Gavin Schilling. 6'11 guy that can put it on the deck that way. Well, Very dangerous. But Gavin Schilling can't take it for granted that he's going to dribble handle. So here's Wagner shooting one and one. Wagner. Part of the under 18 German national team. Three things you need to know about Big Mo. Best birthday gift, little toy dinosaurs, <laughs> one on one versus anyone. I don't know if you want to go against Turk, young man. Mom, it's advice ask me for money if you need it. He's going against Dirk right now. Dirk a little bit older. Dirk in his heyday? Nah. nah. He didn't want none of that business. And he may get a chance. He may. But listen, when you're a young player like that, you always think you can compete against the best. That's something you got to love about confidence. Bridges, straight away. Count. Young fella. Locking in now. He has nine. Gus is a different team when he's aggressive. It, it's a different dynamic because his skill set and he forces the defense to have to pay attention a lot more to his side of the court. Xavier Simpson, big move to the bucket and he'll get the roll. Simpson with five. Michigan with a 32 to 29 lead. You surprised Wolverines leading this game? Well, here's the thing. They're not shooting the ball extremely well, but they forced turnovers, capitalized it, and they got offensive rebounds. Gavin Schilling. Inside, and that's a blocking foul called against Simpson. The All-American, Miles Bridges. Two of the great coaches in America, one in the Hall of Fame, and they're going at it right now here in East Lansing. He was a sergeant in the United States Air Force. Used to present stories to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. All right, Big Ten teams in the NCAA tournament, according to our guru, Howie Schwab. Well, you figured Michigan State and Purdue were there. How about the surprise with Ohio State, the way they played? Of course, Michigan right there. Maryland, last four in. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Minnesota with dealing with some internal issues right now. Ohio State handing Michigan State their second loss of the season in Columbus. Chris Holman, we talked about how he's changing that club. Uh, and on his first year coming from Butler. We got a kid coming from Newark, New Jersey. His name is Luther Muhammad, folks. He's a point guard. He's got a crossover, wicked crossover dribble with both hands, and he can pull up and hit it on a dime. Have they been talking about him down there? All day long. They just can't wait for his arrival, but they want to take care of business first with this season. Abdul Rahman. Wagner, pump it. Down the lane, on the hop. No, loose. And rebounded by Gavin Schiller. Winston. Cut off by Brooks. Michigan State averages 22 three-point attempts a game. Only three so far in the first half, but they've been going inside. Almost a steal by Brooks. Seven to shoot. Winston gets down the lane. Wraps it up, and a foul. Winston able to turn the corner, and Mo Wagner right here. It's a little body, and that may be where it's at on Wagner, but let me tell you something. In the non-conference, Mo Wagner was averaging 15 points. In conference, is down to 11, but early on, he's showing the aggressive nature that you need when you're on the road from one of your better players. Wagner already has 11 points and playing very aggressive. Wagner picked up his second foul. He has 13 points. Winston. Tell you what, as Wagner, he'll have to sit for the final 306. Winston is very efficient at the point guard position. But he's grown. Think about the point guards that have graced the stage here at Michigan State. Each year you see the progression part of being a leader. He's learned from Tom Tom Mariner how to run offense, when to push, when to pull back. And now he's able to command this offense with a presence 
but his teammates foul. He's first in the Big Ten in assists and 10th nationally. Seven a game. Eighth lead change. Matthews. And a moving screen called on Livers. You know, right there, guys, sometimes Livers picks up the foul, but Matthews has to wait a half a second in order to let Livers set his body, then come off the screen. You'd rather be late than early. As a result, end up picking a foul on your big man. Livers picks up his first foul. Under three minutes to play, one point game. Winston, cross court, Quaid shows it. Step back, Jay. Rebounded, and Michigan State hustling. As Kenny Goins saved it from going out of bounds. But that's just being active on the back line, not standing in one place, understanding that once the shot was up by McQuaid, that it could carry him off the opposite side. Goins didn't have a body on him, able to keep the possession alive for Michigan State. Winston on the screen, rises, and pure. Cassius Winston with nine, his second three of the day. Michigan State taking a 35-32 lead, 2.20 to go. But Michigan has had answers, Livers throws it away. Bridges, Winston, Winston, no. Brooks with the rebound, he'll race into the front court. Matthews on the move, baseline. Good transition defense by the Spartans. Well, I give it to Matthews getting back. He was in the vision of Cassius Winston. Made him miss that shot. Wolverines patient offensively. As Matthews backs it up with 10 to shoot. Matthews, four to shoot now. He's got to hurry up. Gets there. Runner, no. Offensive rebound, Brooks a three. Here's Cassius Winston now. McQuaid in the corner. He missed it. He was open. I'll tell you what, guys. The emphasis was transition defense for mission. They're doing an excellent job of getting back, loading up in the paint, and then guarding out, not giving Michigan State some easy looks in transition. Here's Winston. And another turnover for the Spartans. A quick pick out of bounds right here. Watch Gavin Sinley put a body. You're able to get Cassius Winston open right here, and that's just an action and play, but the pass was on time and on target. Eli Brooks got caught up. He has to get a little bit smaller, get that shoulder and that inside leg through that screen in order to force Cassius off that jump shot. Matthews, 16-foot riser, mm. and rattles it home. Great use of the pick and screen that time. One dribble able to get to that 15-footer, Gus. We forget about that shot. It's open all the time off the pick and roll off the side. Winston. The lob. Oh! Gavin Schilling bringing the house down. 37-34. What a first half. Brooks inside Teske. And a timeout called by Michigan State. Wow. Hey, Gus. Hey, I'm um, nothing, nothing for you. Sometimes you just got to let it breathe, man. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about ending the half with some excitement. Just throw it to the rim and go get it. Look at the dime by Cassius Winston. But you know he, who he lobs the ball like? Don't say it. Seriously. You're going to say Sherman? I knew you was going to say Sherman. Wow. Well, we both jumped out our seats on that one. Sherman Douglas. Sherman Douglas. Look that up, folks. All you young guys out yeah. there. Sherman Douglas was a master at the lob. And Cassius Winston keeping Schilling's hands full. And not probably the most productive, effective first half of Michigan State, but 
You were down, you regained momentum. Excellent play getting the crowd involved. 9.9 .9 seconds left. You take momentum in the halftime your Michigan State. 37-34. Here's Winston. Inside. Bridges just couldn't hold on to it. And that will take us to the end of the first half. The Spartans shoot 57%. They end the first half on an 8-2 run. Winston with nine, Bridges with nine. Wagner with 13 for the Wolverines. And Michigan State going to clean up a little bit of those turnovers early. Let's go to Lisa Byington with Coach Izzo. Well, Coach, you have made points in the paint and emphasis. Why have you chosen to go that direction against Michigan here today? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I said you have made points in the paint and an aggressive mentality, the emphasis here in the first half. How satisfied have you been with that well, execution? I'm satisfied with a lot of things we've done. We've gotten some points in the paint, as you've said. We've done a pretty good job except in two areas. We've let them get some offensive rebounds early. They had six of them, I think, early. A lot of them were long ones. And then Simpson hits a 35-footer, but they've hurt us from the three. We're shooting like 57%. They're shooting 30-some, and we're only up three. Well, Wagner has missed three shots. He's got 13 points in the first half. The adjustments you make on him are what? Again, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Mo Wagner, the adjustments you make on him are what? Well, we try to guard him. You know, Nick, for the first time, Nick didn't do a very good job guarding him. He's been doing a great job staying up on those ball screens. So that was kind of our fault. He made some shots. All right, thank all right. you. That's all right. Gus. All right, thank you very much, Lisa. That's the end of the first half. With the score, Michigan State 37, Michigan 34. We'll send you to Sergeant Mike Hill in Los Angeles right after this. Welcome back to East Lansing, 37 to 34, Michigan State on top of Michigan. Gus Johnson, Jimmy Jackson, just to tell you how competitive that first half was. The biggest lead was five by either team. We had eight ties and eight lead changes. Did we expect anything else? <laughs> you talked about the rival. I mean, so Michigan came in with the game plan. They stuck to it. Michigan State has been struggling a little bit offensively, but they got it together. In Michigan, when you're on the road, you do what you do best shoot the three ball. Five to 12 in the first half, but how about the passing on time, on target? So now as a Michigan player, step up, catch, shoot. Eight assists, 12 made field goals. All right, let's take a look at the first half stats sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, you say, how is this game so close? Michigan is only shooting 36%. Uh, the turnover, okay? You talked about the three-point shot, but 17 points off of those turnovers from Mich eight turnovers from Michigan State able to stay competitive in the game. All right, let's go to Lisa Byington. I'm okay with the way the first half went is what John Beeline told me. We're going to give up the twos as long as we can continue to get the threes. His biggest concern right now is the foul situation. Remember, he's got four players with two, at least two fouls. One of those, Mo Wagner, he said we obviously have to keep him in the game. Now, keep in mind, a season-high team fouls is 20. Michigan is at 12 right now, so that's something they're going to have to keep an eye on. Maybe a little bit more zone here in the second half. Half, All right, thank you very much. As both teams come on the floor to start the second half, Michigan in the first half, 12 of 33 from the field. 36% shooting, 5 of 12, though. Spartans, 13 of 23 overall. Only attempted three threes, two of three. Let's see if they look for the long ball in the second half. And I'm sure they're going to attack Bosman. They can see it right here with Nick Ward one on one, but quick double team. Here's Jackson to the basket off the glass, no but a foul. And he'll go to the line. Jaron Jackson in foul trouble in the first half. As Livers picks up his second. At the line for Michigan State, Jaron Jackson Jr. shooting two. Coming off a 16-point game against Rutgers and three things you need to know about this young, talented player, his hobby, watching Netflix. I'm unbeaten at Mario Kart, the superhero, my dad. 
sports hero, superhero, same thing. Same thing, baby. I mean, it, it his father, you're talking about maturity in the league, changed his game a lot, able to win a championship with that Spurs team, kind of beat us when I was with Portland, so I still got a gripe with him. If I see him today, I'm about to talk to him about it. And a foul on the release. Nick Ward contesting the shot by Charlie Matthews. And Matthews will go to the line and shoot two. And that time Nick Ward a little bit late on the switch up top. And Matthews able to take advantage to get to a spot. And you never want to bet out a jump shooter. We say that all the time. But with a post player playing defense on the perimeter, it's a little bit different. Second foul on Ward as Matthews makes the first. At 14 against Purdue on Tuesday, eight straight games and double figures, including a career high 31 versus Alabama A&M. He was 12 of 15 in that game. And he gets a pair. Six points for Charlie. Now Winston. Guarded by Simpson. Bridges. Being played to his right hand. Close that way. Swing it, Winston feeds the post. Ward steps out, draws a double cross court, gives it away. Abdul Rahman with a great steal. Cross town traffic to the bucket Euro step, no but five. And when we talked to Coach Beeline, this was a point of emphasis for him. He doesn't think Nick Ward is a Willing passer, only one assist every two games. Well, and that's why the double team comes and it comes hard and heavy, hands high. Again, that cross court pass is available, but you still have to see the defense. And that time, Nick Ward didn't anticipate that Rockman would drop down and take away. What is the, the pass. first thing you're supposed to do, Jim, when that double team comes? Well, one, you dribble out of it, force the defense to come. Now, the defense wants to keep the ball on that side of the court, but if you can get it to the top man, now it's a two-on-one on, on the weak side, and that's when Michigan State can have its event. Let's see if they do it again. Seven points for Abdul Rahman. We're stepping out high this time. Bridges, hard turn to the bucket, and throws it away. And, Gus, here's what we're talking about. When the double team comes, as he comes over, we freeze it right here. You really want the ball to come here. And now you can swing it over here and have a two-on-one -on, -one on this side of the court. McNord Ward chooses to try to do the cross-court pass, which is a longer pass, easier to get into the passing lane and get a steal. Spartans have turned it over ten times. Livers batted out by Wagner into the hands of Ward. Bridges on the move. Winston down the lane. Double clutch flip. No. Wagner can't hold on or can he? He's tied up. And the arrow favors Michigan State. And both offenses right now a little stagnant. But Michigan State, Gus, is really good at this. When they dribble penetrate, and now their guards and forwards are able to catch when they're on the move, that's when their ability to attack the basket is at, is at its peak. I think it's interesting when you look at the NBA now, Jim, guards like Cassius Winston. You got to perfect all those little short shots to finish at the rim. It's a, it's a point of emphasis for all basketball players at the highest level. Let me tell you something. I just had the Arizona State game, so I went to practice for, with Bobby Hurley. And all they worked on with their guard, not all, but it was the floaters in the lane, fading away using the backboard, because those are the shots they're going to get primarily when they get down low. They can't finish inside, so they have to have a floater. In between, and a whistle will foul on the floor. Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman. And Rahman is doing a really good job also of catching on the move and now attacking Michigan State off the dribble. He's several times today been able to get his feet in the lane and either get his shot, cause contact, or make a play for his teammates. Lankford call for the foul, is second. Step back, Abdul Rahman. Looked like he was fouled, no call. Bridges leading the way. Inside, Rule draws a double, there it is. Jackson and a foul. 
At that time, Jaron Jackson made himself available coming from the weak side block. Nick Ward able to see over the top of the defense, able to drop it down inside. That's an excellent read by Ward, but also replaced by Jaron Jackson right here. See how he gets his body right in front of Rockman. Now, Rockman has no choice but to get a foul on that play. And another, another foul on Ward. His third for setting a screen. And he's picked up a couple fouls, Gus, that are away from the ball, that are cheap fouls, and now cause him to get to the basket. And you expect, being an upperclassman, that he wouldn't pick up these kind of cheap fouls, especially in a game of the magnitude like this. Gavin Schilling replaces him. One point game, 39 38. Defense is starting to really tighten up for both squads. Baseline, cool. See if they try to get Wagner a touch. They do. And out of bounds, Jackson. I, I tell you what, Matthews in that pick and roll. One more dribble by Matthews to his left. It stretches the defense, and that time Wagner has more room. That one he had to kind of rush his shot before Schilling got back. That's why it's important take two dribbles off that pick and roll, then hit it back to your post play for a jump shot. Xavier Simpson can't get to the bucket. Now he explodes, and Winston reaches in and fouls him. How about the patience this time by Xavier Simpson? Understanding that the middle was wide open and yeah, Cash has got him down there. And how about the, the confidence that d line has shown in Xavier? Certainly back in the lineup three, day, three games ago. Doesn't turn the basketball over. Learning how to really lead this Michigan team. Big in the Purdue game. 15 points against Purdue. He began the season as a starter, then came off the bench, and now he's starting again. Seventeen minutes to play, second half. Michigan back on top, forty to thirty-nine. Xavier Simpson with seven. Good battle between Simpson and Winston. Langford's got to get going offensively. Bridges, and he just throws it away. Nicely done by Xavier Simpson, and he'll find a cutting levers for a two-hand tomahawk jam. Eight-zero run for the Wolverines. Bridges almost turned it over again. How about Xavier Simpson right here? When he comes through, he's able to see exactly where he's at, but he takes the ball to the middle of the court, forces the defense over, then bam, at the last minute. Hit Isaiah Livers for an easy two. Livers call for the foul, his third. If you're trying to be foul against Michigan. This is where you want to be, Gus. Right. On the road. Haven't shot the ball extremely well in the first half, but you're doing all the little things to keep yourself in the basketball game. You're not turning the ball over, which is a staple of a John Beeline offense. And defensively, you have locked in coming out in the second half. Popping out on the wing, he's looking for Jackson. Step back, jump shot. Tap and recovered by Gavin Schilling. Bridges a three. Loose. Langford, and he's fouled. Wow. Michigan State in the second half, 0 for 3. With four turnovers, 16 minutes to play. Back to East Lansing right after this. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by the 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. 42-39, Michigan leading. Fourth-ranked Michigan State on the road. Folks, it's a year away, but the 2018 Continental Tire Las Vegas Invitational features a blockbuster field. Participants include Michigan State, North Carolina, Texas, and UCLA. Be a big holiday treat on FS1 and Fox next Thanksgiving. 
tickets are on sale now at orleansarena.com. How about Texas big win over TCU this week? Big 12. Just a year, someone knocks off Kansas. They won their 13 consecutive Big 12 title. West Virginia playing well, Oklahoma, Texas Tech, TCU. This could be the year, Gus. West Virginia, the number one, number two team in the nation behind Villanova. Number one, Langford. Joshua Langford from Huntsville, Alabama. He averages 14 points a game, and that was his first point of the game so far. And maybe being able to knock down two free throws, see the ball go in the rim, kind of gets his offensive game flowing because they really do need his penetration and the ability to knock down shots from deep. Crossover dribble, 15-foot pull-up for Abdul Rahman. Schilling with a rebound. Michigan getting great looks at the basket. Just unable to convert. And how about the post play, post defense by Duncan Robinson on Jaron Jackson, not allowing him to get deep post position. One on one here. Jackson spinning on the baseline. Oh, he squeezed it through and drew the five. And, hey, guys, at the end of the day, Sometimes the offensive player is just that much better. Duncan Robinson doing anything and everything he can do to negate the ball coming in, but Jaron Jackson able to fill his body, spin baseline, and Wagner just a little late to the party, picking up his third foul. Wagner checks out. Jackson at the line. Don't blink, folks, because this may be the only season you see this kid at Michigan State. They are salivating over him in the NBA circles. And it's watched here at 44-42, 15 minutes, 22 seconds when Mo Wagner picked up that third foul. See how that affects this Michigan team moving forward until he can get back in the game. Teske checks in. Robinson, dribble drive to the bucket. No, Teske keeps it alive, gets a rebound, and a big fella is foul. And that's what Tesky can give you. He can give you a little bit different look than when Wagner is in the game. Wagner pick and pop can beat you off the dribble. But Tesky can get his body inside, keep the play alive, and as you saw, soft enough hands to be able to catch and almost finish. And the first one going down for John Tesky. He's another Ohio boy, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Medina, Ohio. How about, gets a pair. how about this, guys? On the season, Michigan is shooting 64%. The last from the free throw line, the last three games, 75 today, 12 for 12 from the free throw line. You wonder why they're still in the game. I'll tell you what, I think one of the reasons they're in this game, Jimmy, their defense oh, has caused Michigan State a lot of problems. Off the heel for Bridges, one and done. Simpson the other way. Michigan has also scored 23 points off turnovers. Simpson to the hole. And he'll get the roll. Xavier Simpson with nine. Bridges. He cocked it back. And he will shoot free throw. Well, the patience of Xavier Simpson in transition. But now you get to the half court mark. And now you're able to get inside. And Teske right here with just a little brush string. The patience of Xavier Simpson allowed that play to happen. Nice little finish inside. Again, that's the maturity level and understanding of long, long the game to open up. Tum Tum comes in for the Spartans. Miles Bridges. One more free throw. He's averaging 16 a game on the year. Didn't score until the 743 mark in regulation against Rutgers. Both teams in the bonus already. Ten points for Bridges. Abdul Rahman trying to create off the bounce. Inside, double pump, fade away. Great defense. 
Tom Tom. Trying to speed things up for the Spartans and foul coming up. Jackson foul from behind by Robinson. He's just too big of a load. He is, and here's, let's go back. Talking about getting involved, being, you may not be shooting with your Joshua Langford, but what you can do is step up defensively. And that time, able to take away an opportunity from Rockman, but being able to get that initial push up quickly, Gus, that allows Jaron Jackson to get the ball in the post one-on-one, -on -one and the help can't come quick enough. And Jackson missed the front end. Michigan up by a penny. Under 14 to go. Matthews fighting his way to the basket. Teske with the rebound and put back. One time Schilling had to help a little bit on the drive and Teske smartly followed right behind Schilling. Put himself in position for that offensive rebound and score. Michigan State offensively looks confused. Well, talking to Tom Mizzou, he said ever since that Ohio State game, offensively, they haven't been in sync. Because if they can't get it on that initial thrust in transition, they struggled offensively in the half court. If you're Michigan, that's what you want. You want to force Michigan State to try to beat you in their half court offense. Yeah, this crowd looking a little nervous now. They didn't expect the Wolverines to be this competitive with a 48-45 lead. With 13.26 to go. But the Spartans have been known to go on one of those runs to open up the doors. John Beeline's defense, though, slowing him down. Chris Holtman's defense slowed him down. Duke beat him. And one of their best players had 37. Grayson Allen lit him up. Officials at the scores table, Ted Valentine, Terry Weimer, and Rob Riley. It's interesting to see what they're uh, it's coming after the free throw with Jaron Jackson Jr. Not really sure what they're looking at. I think the clock didn't start after the last free throw, so they're trying to get a time. Mm -hmm. and both teams get a chance to kind of strategize. It was fun, folks. We had a chance to go into the locker room and talk to Coach Beeline before the game with about 20 minutes on the clock before the game, and he was putting his stuff on the board. And it uh, looked like quantum physics to me. Yeah, you, he, you understood everything. I, I did. You know, it was short, quick, and his team understands the language that he puts on the board and as a basketball player you can see it quickly but a lot of the term the meanings are the same the terms are different how are you going to play the pick and roll what do you want to do on the double team so it's interesting to see different coaches and how on their whiteboard they kind of put up their game plan the greatest vision though in the locker room with coach beeline right next to the whiteboard he was drawing <laughs> all the plays on was a picture of a pit bull so there's a story coach beeline showed his team images of poodles and he said that's how we're playing he doesn't realize some poodles are some of the most vicious dogs there are what however he then put pictures of doberman pictures and pit bulls and he said that's how we need to play Well, they came out with the pit bull, pit bull mentality, especially on the defensive end. They played aggressive without foul. 13-18, they reset the clock. And here come the Wolverines. Matthews on the bounce. Tum Tum. Wade still looking for a, a crease. He's got a wicked jump shot. They run him around the screen. Tillman, eight to shoot, down the lane, left hand, good. Tillman. 
And great recognition that time Tillman saw Teske as he wanted to get the ball inside to Jaron Jackson. Teske kind of slipped back a little bit. That opened up that left-hand driving lane for Tillman to dash down to get two. 48-47, Tillman with five. Matthews wraps it inside. Teske, no, picked up Bridges. He's on the run. And McQuaid. Yeah, excellent transition defense that time by Michigan. The turnover, live ball turnover, didn't allow Michigan State to get out and do what they do best, which is run and transition. The three-point shot, not a factor for the Spartans in this game. But when you have balance, Gus, you got to go to it and use it. Tum-tum. Off balance. And an easy rebound for the Wolverine. His defense has been... Like a tight turtleneck sweater. <laughs> Schmedium. Xavier Simpson fights his way to the basket off the glass. No, Teske can't get it. Loose ball, batted around, picked up. And out of bounds, Nick Ward. Hustling. He landed on the baseline. 11.22 to play in the second half. One point game. The hustle is real. Both teams want it. Put your body, your soul, your mind on the line to win this basketball game. In state battle, Michigan, Michigan State. Jackson passed away last night at 89 years old and comes on the heels of losing another legend, Dick Enberg, three weeks ago, who passed away at 82. But Keith Jackson revolutionized sports broadcasting. He was the man that named Michigan Stadium the big house. His call, Woe Nelly. So many classic games during his illustrious career, we will miss him. And I was blessed, Gus, to have him call some of my basketball games at Ohio State. I can still hear the voice, reson voice resonating through my head. 48-47. Wagner playing with three fouls. Inside, pump fake. Left hand counted on the foul as he just abused Nick Ward. His versatility is something else to be a 6'11 man. Well, how about the play out of bounds? You isolate Wagner on the wing off the pick and pop. And now he understands that he can use his size, but also his ability to bounce off the dribble. And he's mean mugging. But he was mean mugging. Let me tell you something. When they were out here shooting around, and they were booing him. He was like, let me hear it. Let me hear it. He was mean mugging men. Three-point play for Michigan. Wolverines take a 51 to 47 lead. 16 for Wagner. Here's McQuay guarded by Poole. Tum Tum guarded by Simpson. McQuay can't get that shot off. Michigan right in his hip pocket. Everywhere he's at, somebody is in the face of McQuay up in his body. Seven to shoot. Langford. Tried to pull. Lost it. Loose ball. Picked up by the Wolverines, and that's a shot clock violation. 14 turnovers for Michigan State. Well, how about they're squeezing? Anytime Michigan State's players try to get to the middle on a key, there's another Michigan player there. And we talk about deflections all the time and how important they are. Deflections may not always lead to a steal, but they do thwart the offense. Michigan doing an excellent job of getting their bodies involved. Let's, let's go to Lisa Byington. Lisa. Rebound and run was the emphasis in Tom Izzo's last huddle. Now, Michigan really good in the defensive transition. They're not sending a whole lot to the boards. And you see a good defensive stance there from Michigan State. But setting the tempo, Izzo has not gotten a lot of fast break points. Michigan State has not gotten a lot of fast break points. He's trying to emphasize to his team there's a good four to six fast break points that are still available here in the second half, Gus. Thank you very much. Got a rebound to get on the break. You do, but how about the emphasis with John Beeline not really attempting to get to the offensive glass. I'd rather you give that up than to give up. Some transition points by Michigan State, which can ignite the crowd. Tillman lobs it inside for Jackson, and he's fouled from behind. I'll tell you what, Jackson's doing a great job inside, sliding and finding good positions. Well, a lot of time with freshman big men, they get locked into a position because in high school, 
you can just stand, be bigger and taller, you can get the ball. But he's doing an excellent job of maneuvering and moving on the baseline, presenting openings for itself. This time he gets in front of the one and one. What we haven't seen from Jaron Jackson today, he can really shoot the ball from the three-point line. He shot at least 50% from three in the last seven games in which he's tried one. Gets a pair there from the line. Today, Jackson has not attempted a three. Fifty-one forty-nine. Abdul Rahman high off the glass and in plus the foul. Again, the middle pick and roll, especially when you have a shooter like Duncan Robinson on the strong side in the corner. Now Jaron Jackson can't help. Wagner put a body on Langford, which allowed Rockman to turn the corner, and Tillman is stuck in between. If I help too much, the ball can go to Wagner. As a result, old-fashioned three-point play. Ten points now for Abdul Rahman. He had seven against Purdue, which snapped the streak of four straight games, and what another finish for Michigan State. Bridges just pounds it down out of nowhere. 54-51. And here comes a crowd. Pool. Baseline. Winston. Tillman facing. Winston feeds Bridges, posting. Baseline, lefty flick, in and out. And right there for the follow is Langford. The Wild Kingdom, known as a Breslin Center, erupts. One point of fair. 8.41 to play in the second half. Well, the backdoor cut is all set up. Tillman, oh, emphasis inside, taking a little anger out on the rim by Miles Bridges. And then inside, Joshua Langford's been tough. Scoring's been hard, but he got two right there. By a point that so many great players have played here for Michigan State. Sean Westbrook, Smitty, Steve Smith, prolific score. Scott Skies, who could forget, he was with Jay Vincent, Johnny Green. And you keep going down the list, it gets better. Special K, Greg Kelser, and the greatest in the history of this program, one of the greatest in the history of the sport of basketball, Magic. I've been blessed to know Steve Smith since I was in high school, played with the team, please, battled against Sean Westbrook, great defensive play by Telma. And Tillman, young freshman, Xavier just coming up. He's sliding his feet. He's staying with it. But the ability to go up, Gus, and be physical without fouling, excellent play. 54-53. 8.24 to go. And a whistle away from the ball. That may be on Duncan Robinson. And John Beeline's going to get a sub in. Poole make that livers quickly. Because as you went by and looked at those names up there, and I think about the Michigan side, too, about oh the goodness. great players that came through there, Glenn Weiss, Will Robinson. So many great So players. many. I mean, and I've been blessed, too, that I've played with, even though we have a rivalry with it. Gary Grant. What, Chris Weber, Dwayne Howard, Jalen, all good friends, great friends of mine. Antoine, Joe Bear, Leslie Rockamore, Eric Turner. Just to name a couple, the game reset sponsored by SoFi Rethinking Personal Finance. We'll take a look. What well, a double bonus for both teams in Michigan. Really having the advantage at the free throw line of 15 to 15. Not too bad for Michigan State, 19 to 23. So it could, could, could come down to that in the late game situations, Gus. The building is alive. Spartans back on top. Simpson, the kick. Wagner. Big fella knocking down shots. He has 19, and the Wolverines go back on top. How about the decision? Xavier Simpson turns down the three, penetrates. Wagner picks and pops, able to knock in the shot. 
ball kick by Wagner. 751 to play in the second half. 57-55 to the Wolverines. Do it on the road against the fourth ranked team in America. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 751 to play, second half. We've got a good one for you. 57-55, Michigan on the road, leading the fourth-ranked team in America. As we take a look at the game reset, sponsored by SoFi, rethinking personal finances. Wolverines with two timeouts, Spartans with three. Each team shooting one and one. Tom Izzo, John Beeline, two of America's best basketball coaches at any level. Here's Bridges, Jackson. Now Bridges, the quick turn, blocked and picked up by Wagner. Great job by Matthews to knock that out of Bridges' hands. Wow, well, he showed his athleticism, and Matthews is taller than you think and able to use his long frame to block the shot. Abdul Rahman. Great defense again by Langford. Got 10 ties, 13 lead changes, the biggest lead by either team, five points. Simpson, seven to shoot. Oh, a beautiful finger roll as he gets to the bucket on Winston. Again, showing the patience to allow the lane to open up and then exploit it. Langford wraps it around, stolen. Abdul Rahman in the front court. In and out dribble, gets down the lane. Flipped it up, rejected by Jackson. Safe from going out of bounds by Winston. Here come the Spartans. Bridges, drives, posts, leans, and scores. Assertive, aggressive, and he knew exactly where he wanted to get to, Gus, because he had in his head, I'm going to get to the lane, I'm going to use my body and finish over the top. Excellent job that time by Miles Bridges. When in doubt, go to your best player. That is Miles Bridges for Michigan State. Abdul Rahman got it on a string and a blocking foul called against the Spartans. Man, how about Jaron Jackson? In transition, not giving up on the play. A lot of guys just stop and then on the opposite end, Miles Bridges. You got me once, you're not getting me again. Take these two. Abdul Rahman shooting one and one. And he gets both. Solid game for Rachma Abdul Rahman. He has 12. 61-57. How does Michigan State respond? This Michigan defense has confused him. Jackson inside, ripped out of his hands. We'll stay here. And that's a prime example. It was a miscommunication between Livers and Rockman on the switch. Jaron Jackson was open, but guess what? Only open for a brief second as Xavier Simpson came to have support on the back line and took away an easy two. Winston has been quiet offensively. Double teamed on the sideline, cross court, great look, Jackson three. Livers, got a hand up in his face, he may have deflected that ball. And how about the show and the help by Mo Wagner on the pick and roll, stretching Cassius Winston out, making that pass back to Jackson longer, which enabled the defender to come out and actually contest the shot. Matthews, Abdul Rahman, Wagner calling for it. Big fella says, give it to me. I got Ward all day today. And a foul on the baseline. He draws another foul. Nick Ward just not quick enough. Well, this time Tillman inside. He's on the high side. Watch him, the high side. But he's not down and not ready. Mo Wagner knows. All I have to do is just wait and spin baseline because you're giving it up. You want influence to the baseline, Gus, but you don't want to give it up. Pardon me. That was Tillman. Not Ward as Wagner goes to the line. A substitute coming in. It is Nick Ward. Wagner with 20. 
And this is what I've come to expect from Bobby. This type of production. He beats you inside, outside. You come to him on a double team. He makes you pay with the pass. He has that kind of ability to dominate the game in multiple areas on the court. Largest lead of the game for the Wolverines. Bridges lost it. Look at the hustle by both these kids. Matthews and Bridges and Michigan forces a turnover. Again, getting your, your feet, your knees, your elbows dirty and scrapping, knowing that as you come down the stretch of the game, every possession is critical. 63-57 Michigan. Abdul Rahman, Matthews, Simpson, Wagner. And Livers. Here's Simpson, the runner. And good. 11 2 run for the Wolverines. Timeout, Spartans. Xavier Simpson, 13 points, using the floater to his advantage. But again, the ability for him to slow the game down, get down the lane, and take what's available from him has been outstanding. And a look at the Big Ten standings. What jumps out at you, Jimmy? Well, of course, Ohio State, and not because I went there, but because of the job they've been able to do by winning those games. Michigan, we didn't talk about early in the season where they would land in the top four, but the ability to win games and play tough has put them in a position where they're at right now. Let's go, State. Here we go, Spartan. Wagner. He's showing that he has a lot of talent. Flirted with the NBA last year. Came back for another season in Ann Arbor. So Winston, Langford, Nick Ward, Jaron Jackson, and Bridges on the court. Jackson a three. That time he knocks it down. Well, how about the play drawn up by Tom Izzo out of the timeout to get Jaron Jackson, who just missed the three, an opportunity to knock it in, and he delivered. Only his second attempt of the game from behind the three-point line. Wagner, power dribble, inside, cut off by Ward, and he throws it away. Guys, I always say on the perimeter, for sure, post players to have to guard, and that time it was a great pick. Right here by Cassius Winston on Isaiah Livers. He kind of leaned on the pick. Jaron Jackson waited and got it and was able to hit it. Jackson with 18 points. He can score points in bunches. Can Winston find him? Bridges pops out. Spartans hold on. Winston, he's been told by his coach that he has to make great decisions down the stretch. Jackson calling for it. Livers over his back and fouls him. And Jackson will shoot two. And Livers has to stay solid because, okay, if Jaron Jackson gets it, you know you're coming with the double team. Keep in mind, Michigan lost a game to Purdue for a number of different reasons. But at the end, the same kind of play, instead of playing solid defense behind, you attempt to steal and you get called for a foul. Okay. These teams combined are 38 of 42 from the free throw line. Michigan's 19 of 19. Now Robinson checks back in for Livers. Tum Tum, ready to check in for Michigan State. He replaces Winston. He's in for Second free throw goes. Jackson ties his career high with 19. Let's see if Michigan moves the ball around but gets back into that middle pick and roll with Wagner and, and Simpson or Rockman. That's been working for those guys in the second half. Wagner wants it. He's got Ward on him. Tries to rake it through. Step back. Pogo stick. Jay goes down. Dirk Nowitzki would be proud of his countrymen. Mm. Mm. 
And a player down. That's Abdul Rahman. He talked about his countryman, Dirk Davisky. He would have been proud to sweep through. Great defense by Nick Ward, but the fadeaway, soft touch. Mo Wagner getting it done. Michigan 66, 67. Michigan State 61. As you take a look at the game reset, Wagner has been playing some great ball. 23 points in 23 minutes. His career high is 26 against Louisville last season. Spartans bring it the other way. Winston back in the game. Ward. See if they look for Ward down low. This is his sweet spot. On Wagner, jump hook, way short. But Wagner not allowing Nick Ward, guys, to get deep post position early. Now Nick has to work a little bit harder outside that box to kind of get that jump hook. And keep in mind, Wagner is taller than Nick Ward, so able to contest at the top of that shot. Ward has four points. He averages 15 a game on the season. 3-12 to go. Wagner behind the back, down the lane, ankle breaker. Whoa. 25 for Wagner. Doing the work. Michigan with a 69-61 lead. Bridges. Miles Bridges. The number four team in the nation on the ropes at their place against their arch rivals. Keep in mind, it's one-on-one -on -one coverage inside. Mo Wagner understands that, and he's patient, knowing that he has the ability to get by Nick Ward off the dribble. Now Matthew slicing to the hole and pounds it down. Wow. The movement away from the ball allowed Matthews to curl and turn. That time, Miles Bridges was a step behind. And that little crease and gap was open, and Matthews took advantage of it. Winston, and an offensive foul on Ward. His fourth. You know, the constant movement of this Michigan offense allows gaps to open up. Now one-on-one -on -one coverage. Excuse me, miss. I'm going to take this two as an easy layup. And again, Wagner here attracting attention. And because Matthews was on the move, able to catch, slither through, athletic dunk on the other end. Meanwhile, Michigan State, 17 turnovers in this game. They average 14 a game on the season. With 2.12 to go, Michigan... Up 71 to 63. Wolverines don't have to be in a rush. Some dumb. Now fouls Simpson in the backcourt. Michigan State foul on 11. Aaron Jr., that's his first personal foul. With all the pressure defense, the active hands of this Michigan State team, how about Michigan, guys, on the afternoon? Only seven turnovers. This is a team that I think ranks eighth in the nation with 10.4 turnovers somewhere in there. 10.1. The, the ability to go on the road in a hostile environment and still make quality plays, aggressive plays without turning it over. Another key to this D-line offense. And that's the first missed free throw by Michigan in this game. They're 20 of 21. And a pair missed this time. Michigan State still with life as we approach the two-minute mark, but they've got to hurry up. Down 71-63, Bridges lost it out of bounds, and the Spartans will get it back. In a few moments, we'll send those of you in Omaha and Cincinnati to the tip-off of 25th-ranked Creighton and 10th-ranked Xavier. You can continue to watch Michigan, Michigan State on Fox Sports Go. Yes, you know what interesting that Coach just said when we were talking to him earlier? He said his team has experience, but they don't have deep experience in regards to getting deep into the tournament. Yes, they're freshmen and sophomores and juniors, but they don't have that depth of in-game, meaningful experience. I mean, what, they got a super player in this kid. Mo Wagner. Moretz Wagner from Berlin, Germany. Fourth foul on Wagner. Langford. And he gets the first. 
71-64. A lot of time left in this game. And he gets both free throws to go down. The importance of that, Gus, is now Michigan State can pick up their defense full court to see if they can force this disciplined Michigan team into a turnover. In the corner, Simpson's got a great handle, and he's fouled by Nara. Do you need a foul there, Jimmy? No. 151 to go. Why? I think the over is so aggressive. It over aggressive in that time by trying to get a steal. You don't need it because you're sending this free throw, this reach in this game. There were the last three games, really, for Michigan, being able to knock down free throws. And this is the only time these two teams will meet in the regular season. Huh. And that's why I love that the Big Ten is going back to the round robin <laughs> next year. One reason they may have fouled Simpson is a 52% free throw shooter on the year. And He's missed is. three in a row. There's, a, there's an answer to your question right there, Gus. So he's the player they're going to identify the foul. He missed it both. Cassius Winston, a bucket here. We'll make things very interesting. Watch McQuaid. Bridges. A three. Loose. Tipped up. And the smallest player on the floor with the rebound, Simpson. And he'll go to the line again. And that right there on that offensive possession was the lack of experience was that. For Miles Bridges, you don't need a three. Use your ability to get to the basket, force the defense to react, and now you can score and maybe get fouled with the clock stop. Instead, you bail out your opponent by shooting a contested three. Simpson's two for six from the line. He's missed four straight. 134 to go. Seventy-two, sixty-five, fourteen for Simpson. And he gets both. He ties his career high again with 15 points. He had 15 in his last game against Purdue. 73-65. Winston to Jackson. He's got to fire it. Rushed. He was rushed that time. An excellent play for Wagner by getting back after helping off the defensive end on the pick and roll. And Wagner fouled from behind with 1.14 to go. He'll go to the line. Wolverines with a 73-65 lead. They're three and two in the Big Ten. Michigan State, 16 and two, four and one in conference play. Wagner with 25. And Wagner with 26. And that ties his career high. Guys, I look across the country, once we got into conference play, how the top teams are not able to separate themselves in conference play, they're losing on the road, at home. So it's a microcosm. It's not just happening here in the Big Ten. It's all across the country. Career high for Wagner, 27. Largest lead of the game for the Wolverines. Winston and a foul. You're on the road, you got to lean to your best player, Mo Wagner, just letting it go today. The ability for him to go one on one, to get to the basket, 27 points, 8 for 13 shooting, 8 and 8 from the free throw line. Give me the ball, I put you on my back, and I carry you all the way back to Ann Arbor. The big toe to his teammates. 75 to 66. Here we go, one time. Ball's live, one. 10 points for Cassius Winston. As he gets the second free throw now, Tum Tum replaces him. Xavier Simpson, the inbounder. And Jackson bridges on the deck. 
A tie up and the arrow favors Michigan. This is a tough pass. Xavier Simpson has to understand that he can move. So that means go to your right and then shorten that pass up to Mo Wagner. But excellent hustle by Jaron Jackson to keep the ball in alive. And once again, Miles Bridges getting on the ground to try to secure that possession. A minute to play. John Beeline, 60 seconds away from a very good win for his young team. A long, a long 60 seconds, Gus, to try to finish it off. Simpson in the backcourt, and he's quickly fouled. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Wolverines. After this game, they'll head back home and take on Maryland on Monday. Yeah, that's a tough game at home, but how about Nebraska? Nebraska is tough. You know, Rutgers is a much improved team, and then maybe a little payback in order for her uh, at Purdue to finish it off with Northwestern. Simpson. Winston back in for Tum Tum. And the second one goes down, one of two. Spartans quickly get it inbound. Winston. Good help that time by Duncan Robinson in the corner. McQuaid step back three. Matthews with the rebound. The 63-mile drive back to Ann Arbor is going to be a, a good one. 46 seconds remaining in the next five games for the Spartans. Indiana we have at Illinois, Wisconsin, Maryland, always tough to play in Penn State. I mean, it's not an easy road, especially when you're struggling offensively in the half-court sets like we've seen. And what started to bite Michigan State in the butt, so to speak, is their turnovers. When they were winning game, their turnovers were low. 12 turnovers a game. But now they're getting back up above 15. And now they're 17 this afternoon. Matthews misses the first. 52%. Make it 53%. Free throw shooter. And he gets the second. 46 seconds to go. Winston. A long jump shot. Nair with the rebound. Make that Langford with the rebound, and he'll put it back in. Timeout called by Michigan State with 35.3 to go. Wolverines leading it 77 to 69. And don't forget, folks, tomorrow, the NFL playoffs continue on Fox as Drew Brees and the Saints look to make another Super Bowl run as they face an unforgiving Vikings defense. The NFC Divisional Round tomorrow at 4 Eastern on Fox or stream it live on Fox Sports Go and plenty of stars in that game. Breeze, Kamara, Case Keenum, what a season he's had. Unbelievable. Who, who would have thought that Case Keenum would have been able to come in? But when you have the support of great wide receivers and running, but also the support of your defense, Case Keenum can just do his job. What are your Steelers going to do, Jim? Hey, come on, baby. Last time they took on Jacksonville, Big Ben Stop threw five it. picks. But Ben at that time was confused if he really wanted to continue to play, so his mind wasn't right. His mind is right right I now. I think that Jacksonville defense has something with his mind well, not being right, we, Jimmy. We got something for him when they come to Heinz Field tomorrow afternoon. Hey, you're speaking French on me now. now mm. That's we. Oui. That's right. We, oui, we, oui, Paris, all of it. There you go. And another foul as Wolverines walk to the other end of the floor. My boy foul Tony O'Brown is back. Junior, that's oh, yeah. fourth Michigan fourth State, foul. Le'Veon Bell. About to go to work. Where is he from? John oh, Beeline. He could have been a John Beeline. He could have been a great football coach. At the line for the Wolverines, Abdul Rahman, shooting two. Could have been a great professor as well. <laughs> CEO of a major corporation. I mean, he, he sort of is. is a professor. That's right. A psychology five, professor. Five, when you're a coach, a head coach, you're a psychology professor. Professor Beeline. <laughs> Both free throws good. 
He figured out the equation for these Spartans today. 79-69. This game for Michigan, as the great Chick Hearn would say, is in the refrigerator. It, it is, and you talk about the ability for his team to focus on the road when Michigan State kind of started off with some excitement, but they stuck with their game plan, Gus. They are who they are. They didn't try to do anything spectacular, and by doing that, they gave themselves a chance to stay within this game and then pull away, ultimately. Matthews fouled and will shoot once again. So this is what the Big Ten looks like now. We're going to give Michigan the win. Wolverines chasing Purdue and Ohio State. And I'm sure if we look at it a week from now, it may change a little bit more. Good on the second. Now Poole checks in. Matthews heads out. Nice, solid game for Matthews. He finishes with 10 points. A great job handling the basketball. And the Michigan State pressure. Bridges a three. He's fouled, though, by Wagner. Wow, behind the three-point line with 18.5 to go. And Wagner fouls out with a career-high 27. I can't say the job enough about the job when Wagner went out about 15 20 left in the second half the ability for Michigan to stay in the game and even take the lead a little bit until he got back in was huge Wagner 27 points in 27 minutes four rebounds as well so Bridges Bridges with 17 today. But it wasn't a, an effective 17, Gus, where it had an impact, really, on the game when he needed it to be. And I think Miles Bridges struggles a little bit with taking command of this team. As a younger player, he has the ability. He's their leader. I don't know if he's comfortable in that position, though, just taking over. And Simpson up into the front court to Robinson. Baseline pool, exclamation point. The Michigan Wolverines come into East Lansing and record a huge victory over the number four team in America. The final score, 82-72. The first time Michigan has won in East Lansing since 2014. Wolverines 82, Spartans 72, the final. We'll send you to Cincinnati for Creighton Xavier right after this.